even the that in law side also sometimes they also used to give to that girl they used to give dowry to her also give some again sarees and jewels and all those things and so this money which the you know girl gets this is technically called stri dhana this is a money with the stri with the girl with the woman you know with the uh, mother so this stri dhana manusmriti says cannot be touched by even the husband or the sons it is meant exclusively for the stri this is called stri dhana and this is useful for in you know any family emergencies or in terms of uh, you know sometimes during those days also sometimes the wife lives little away from the husband is part of the you know those family uh, relations sometimes she goes and you know, she is not liking something she goes and stays somewhere <laughs> in all those scenarios this stri dhana used to be useful but there was never separation there nothing called separation or divorce but all these games used to be there <clears throat> so and then in emergencies she used to pledge these uh, ornaments with uh, say some that panwala or fin- local financier uh, take some money and handle the family emergencies you know that's the kind otherwise sometimes she used to sell off these vessels that's why vessels have to be metal they should carry some value so uh, this was this is how the stri dhana is used and then in case the mother passes away then that dhana goes to the girls again husband and sons never used to touch that dhana this is the dowry system because there is no inheritance of uh, property of the father the father and brothers they used to liberally give you know a grand dowry to the girl so that the girl can have individual little bit of liberty prosperity and she uses it for welfare of the family and some emergencies sometimes it is uh, uh, it is said that uh, when narayan muthi ji and another six engineers were about to start a software company you know they need some initial investment and then it is said that narayan muthi has borrowed from sudha mr sudha muthi uh, some stri dhana he took it is said that 10000 rupees he took and then today it is billions of dollars company it is so during emergencies and during certain situations the stri dhana is so useful it was a very nicely uh, designed system uh, with the with the view in mind that life is simplified all this property tra- transactions monetary things everything is simplified so that people will have ample time for practicing krishna consciousness uh, so then uh, <clears throat> you know unfortunately the times have changed the situation has deteriorated varnashrama got deteriorated into a caste system the main criteria of caste system is exploitation of the inferior sections of the society by the superior sections on the basis of some assumed superiority hmm so this kind of an exploitative system is present all over the world it is present in each and every society in india it is called caste system in some other countries it is called you know racism and uh, in some other societies based on some religious superiority we are born into a certain religion so other people are all inferior and they are even you know eligible for death these are the kind of superiority based uh, systems of exploitation have become prevalent in the society 
in under various names and forms and shapes so it's not that caste system is limited only to india it is widespread all over the world mm, so when this um, wonderfully designed varnashrama deteriorated into caste system so there is an exploitation in the within the families too and the whole civilization is geared up towards increasing gdp economic development and when the economic development is on the forefront then uh, there are many market forces work on families and culture and everything and then they try to destroy these simple systems if people are living very simple then how will you expand your gdp each one has to become complicated you know then they will purchase all complicated machinery and this and that and so many things i you know so uh, as the times have deteriorated the focus has grown towards uh, you know economic development forgetting dharma forgetting this family traditions and the so situation has deteriorated so now currently what is happening even within the family we see exploitation of women exploitation of the children or exploitation of the men there so many angles are there highly complex vaivahika vidhi now currently the the marriage system has become extremely complicated mm, because <clears throat> everybody is complex in their in their minds hardly we see any combined families a large families living together mm. Mm. of course some families are still trying to maintain this family traditions but otherwise and uh, they very very difficult to see such large families when a large family becomes multiplied hey radha gond when large family becomes say three four families good for gdp because when large family is there you will have one kitchen you will have you know all those same things many many common things are together but let us becomes four you have four kitchens you know you have to purchase more 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 this more more stoves more vessels and more 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 this is the direction in which is going now there are philosophies which are even trying to break uh, put uh, you know some kind of a poison between men and women even man and women can break then it is even more advantages why because she requires one setup he requires one setup good no all gdp is growing but everybody is going down to hell <laughs> this is the scenario current scenario of the world is they have no botheration to keep them together to give a good culture uh, and particularly for the next generation for the children where is the chance in a divorced family the children go through what kind of a turmoil and then finally he has to live with someone either this side or that side but not both the sides so the child will not get a complete affection hmm 